Hey guys, so <laughs> this is the biggest update in the history of the game, and I think it's like not even close. So before you start watching, I'm just going to let you guys know this is going to be a like literally a super long, like almost probably movie length video because I'm going to go over everything that we know. Uh, the game is currently in maintenance. Uh, it is currently 11.24 p.m. on uh, December 3rd. Um, I'm going to leave a bunch of timestamps and a pinned comment so that you guys can just jump around if you want to because this thing, for all I know, can go on for 50 minutes. I, I have no idea. <laughs> There's so much stuff to go over. Um, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Like, <laughs> Grab some food or whatever because we're going to be here talking about this stuff for a while. Uh, obviously, new units is going to be the first thing we talk about because I think most people are excited for those. So have Rosé appear as a reference, melee type, stuff like that. Let's start with Bardock. Um, he is a defense type, yellow. So obviously, the movie's tag, we knew that he was going to have that. He is just called Bardock, so I believe the EX like Bardock crew members should work with him as well. Uh, he has really good offensive stats for a defense type, like 132 strike and then 132 blast. He's gonna he's gonna want to do both strikes and blast. Like he, it doesn't really matter. Defenses are also really good. This guy's looking pretty good at five star. Main ability is Strike of Resistance. Draw a special move Arts card next. Restores own key by 30 plus 40 percent of damage inflicted for 30 timer counts. That's pretty good. Um. So he's not going to be able... So if you're starting with zero key, which is not usually the case, you're not going to be able to pop this right away. But if you have 20 key, which is pretty likely, you can pop this main ability. You'll be able to use the special move arts card immediately. You get 40% damage inflicted too. Pretty good. Uh, foreboding death is the first unique. Plus 40% to strike damage inflicted when at least one ally is defeated. Okay. Applies the following effects to allied tag Saiyan when this character is defeated. Okay, so he has a death buff. Restore his health by 20% and plus 25% damage. Okay, that's interesting. So he's like kind of a supporting role in that sense. So he gives 20% health and then 20%. That's kind of like Yellow Goku a little bit from the Broly movie. Uh, unlikely hero. Reduces damage received by 30% until combo ends when changing cover. So he's cover cut, but 30% is really not that much. Usually units that we've seen recently, like, well, not recently, but Green Broly and like Purple Goku, or yeah, Purple Goku Black is 50 they're both 50, I believe. This one's 30. Eh, 30's not great. Um, plus 75% 70, to special move damage inflicted when activated. Cannot be stacked. Okay, so when he activates his cover cut, he gets plus 75% to special move damage inflicted. That's pretty good because that can also combo with this. Uh, plus 2 doesn't substitution count. Yep. Um, when this character enters the battlefield, the following effects are applied to self if a tag saying other than this character is a battle member. Plus 30% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, and then reduces damage by 20%. Oh, okay, that makes sense why they only gave him 30. Um, because he gets the other 20 here, but this one is not contingent upon him being like cover cutting. So this is like basically a Ribrian situation here, where we got cover cut just active for the first 15 counts when he switched in. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Overall, this guy looks pretty good. I mean, he's getting a bunch of damage. Like, this guy's stats are really good. I don't know, man. Like... I'm telling people not to summon on these banners, and I still think you probably shouldn't summon, at least not immediately, because we have a lot of time until the uh, spanner goes away. The spanner is going to be up for like 400 years, by the way, so I would wait to summon. Uh, special move is Final Spirit Cannon. Uh, it is a... That's uh, that's Yeah, that's just a regular beam attack. Deals major impact damage, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade, plus 15%... or er, plus 15 to special move arts cost. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, extra is Keen Intuition. Plus 20% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Cancels own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. That's solid. And then he holds a strike and a blast, which is fine. Uh, and then, yeah, he has a Saiyan buffer. Where does it go? Is it, does he buff movies? Please tell me he doesn't buff movies. Please no movies. Please no movies. Okay. Wow, he's just, he's just Saiyan strike attack. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy seems good to me. Uh, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. He's going to be able to tank pretty well. Uh, yeah, I like him. Nothing really else to say, he's just very, very solid. Uh, and by the way, his stats come in compared to Rosé. So 132, 132, 134, 132. But his defenses are a little better, I think. His strike defense is a little better. I mean, if you look at the overall thing, he's like right behind him. So it's pretty close, which is pretty nuts because Rosé is really good. Alright, so. Tapion. He is a melee type. His strike attack is through the roof. 
His blast attack, not so much, but he's really good strike defense. He actually has higher strike defense than Bardock does, even though Bardock's a defense type. Uh, is he, Bardock's a defense type, right? I didn't, yeah, he is defense, okay. Um, yeah, defenses are pretty good here. Uh, main ability, Legendary Hero. Draw a special arts card next, so a green card. Steals all enemies' main abilities for 15 timer counts. That's That can be really powerful, especially against someone like Yellow Gohan. So, if you're fighting a Yellow Gohan, right, and this guy's red, and you think they're going to try and lock you in, you can just use his main ability and then they can't. They won't be able to lock you, right? So that's that can be useful, especially against that annoying unit. Uh, so, unique abilities. Resolute Faith applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Minus 5 to strike and blast arts cost for 15 timer counts. Restores the key by 20. That's good, but it's not, like, insane. Like, 20 is... is it's always nice when a unit is able to restore their own key on switching. But 20 is, like... It's, it's, it's okay. It's not, like... Whoa! Like, it's, not, it's not that amazing. Plus 25% of damage inflicted by allied episode. Oh, here we go. Sagas from the movies for 15 timer counts when this character is switched to standby. So he's a, he's a support unit for Sagas from the movies, basically. Yeah, because they really needed more of that. Uh, Proud Hero applies the following effects to self based on the number of battle members when this character enters the battlefield. Three battle members. 40% of everyone's alive. 40% to strike damage inflicted. Two battle members, 40% damage inflicted. Okay, so that's all damage. One battle member, so when he's the only one left alive, he restores one health by 25%, and 50% of damage inflicted. Okay. And then he also reduced damage received by 15% when character Trunks is a battle member. Okay, so you want to run this guy along a, alongside a Trunks unit? So I... I mean, there's no... There's, no really, there's not really any Trunks units on the movies team. Um, except for the EX we'll get to later. So I guess that they really want you to pull him, huh? Uh, what is this? What? Strike arts cost up. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus two to strike arts cost? That's... Huh. That's interesting. I don't know how much that's gonna... I mean, it's definitely gonna affect the enemy, right? It's gonna come into play at least somewhat, but I don't think it's gonna be, like, game... That's interesting. Have we even seen that before? Like, where the units just have effects like that on the regular cards? I think we have, it's just not common. That's, that's, I mean, I like that a lot. Uh, so his special is the Brave Sword Attack. Deals a major slice of damage. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade. Minus 100% to key recovery. For 10 timer counts! That's a lot. 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed. And he has blast armor. This is a really strong special move. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't do massive damage, but... 100% to key recovery for 10 timer... That basically like, cripples them. They, they're basically forced to switch. <laughs> Like, if you, if you land this on a yellow Gohan, they're going to switch. Like, they have to. They, they can't do anything. Uh, okay, his green card is Flute of Sealing. I think I actually showed this in the uh, Twitter preview. It reduces enemy key by 20. Seals enemy special move and special arts. The sealed arts cannot be used for five timer counts. Okay, that's probably one of the most annoying green cards. I don't think it's more annoying than Yellow Gohan's green card, but this is... This is really annoying. I mean, he guaranteed draws one from a special move. I mean, his uh, main ability. So, that's going to get annoying. It's going to be like kind of like when you're fighting Kid Buu, except in addition to you getting your key reduced, he's gonna, you're gonna also going to get your special move and special arts card sealed. That's good. He holds two of these strike cards, and then he busts probably moves. Yeah, strike strike defense. What does he go? Strike attack it. And yep, there it is. Yeah. Ooh, he's getting buffed. Uh, well, I think this guy... I don't really want to rate this guy. I think this guy is better than Bardock, but it's really hard to say. I mean, this guy's really good, too. They're both very good. Let's take a look at the EXs. So we have Trunks here. He is actually a support type, so... Defenses are not the best, but he actually has a very high blast attack, which is nice. So I guess he's going to be more blast oriented. Uh, his main ability is Faithful Heart, restores ally health by twenty percent, shortens ally substitution count by five. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Five is a big number in this game. Uh, unique ability is Selfless Affection, plus fifteen percent. Is he going to like get stuff with Tapion or something? Uh, fifteen percent of damage inflicted. Uh, by allies from battle start until this character is defeated. That reminds me of uh, Green Bulma. 
Also applies the following effects to allied episode sagas and movies or tag Vegeta family. Gradually restores health each each timer count for 20 timer counts. Plus 20% to special move damage inflicted. Okay. That's good. Uh, small hero. Plus 20% to, to blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. That's good because he's, as I said earlier, he's more blast oriented. Uh, the following effects occur when an episode sagas from the movies or tag Vegeta family other than this character is a battle member. Plus 30% to strike damage inflicted. Okay, that's not the best. Uh, draw a special arts card next. Uh, I'm scared to see what special arts card does. Double Buster. Double, uh, double, yeah, double Buster. Uh, deals major impact damage, inflicts enemy as we're downgraded, plus 50% to strike damage received. Okay, it's not, not not the best. Green card is, okay, it's this form of attack thing. Ugh, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. It's a, it's a one of these supporting green cards, so 50% to damage inflicted by allies, so all allies. And then, on top of that, 10% strike damage inflicted by Sogs and Moves or Vegeta Family, so... This guy's going to be a really, really good supporter for both these tags. Um, I think this is really good. Don't sleep on that main ability. Was he buffed movies? Yeah. Uh, he buffed Vegeta Family at 5. I wish I was the other way around. Vegeta Family needs more help than movies does. That's kind of upsetting. I mean, and you're, you're, There's no way you're going to get this guy to 5-star because... With the 999Z power thing gone, it's pretty much impossible with the rates that these guys have. Okay, Super Boo. I have a feeling this guy's going to be pretty busted, but I haven't looked at him yet. He is a melee type. He has 133,000 strike attack, which is good. He also has a lot of blast attack, but his defenses are not great. Uh, very offensively oriented, it looks like. Um, at critical, I think. Main ability is reversal. Restores own key by 70. Alright, that reminds me of Yellow Broly. Plus 30% da strike damage inflicted for 30 time. That's a third 30 time counts is a very long time. Applies uh, the following effects to self. If own health ratio is lower than enemies, okay. 30% of damage inflicted. <laughs> Restores health by 50%. <laughs> what is this? What is this main ability? <laughs> okay. Moving on. Uh. Matchless Strength applies the following effects to enemy when this character enters the battlefield. Inflicted with attribute downgrade plus 30% of damage received for 30 time recounts. Inflicted with attribute downgrade plus 5 to strike and blast at its cost. This is a lot. This is Rosé's debuff. <sighs> okay, uh, this is only one sentence, so this can't be that good. Uh, plus 40% of damage inflicted when this character enters the <laughs> Yeah, okay. I was about to cancel enemy lands at attack. Okay, that, make that makes sense. If you, okay, if if you like start a combo with somebody and then you switch this guy in mid combo and then like keep comboing and like pop your end ability, they're dead. <laughs> you got this, you got forty percent. You do this thirty minus thirty percent damage. Like <laughs> this guy looks really powerful. Again, he's not defensive at all, which is actually not the worst thing ever because you want your health to be lower than the enemies. Uh, so, I don't know. This guy looks interesting. Uh, special is like one of these things. Yeah, major pierce damage and then inflicts bleed. Uh, this is 25% uh, of damage inflicted by allies. Oh, so all allies. That's really good. And this? That's only for him though, right? Yeah, might have found to own strike cards. Contra 20 time Okay, that's, that's good. He holds two strike cards. Regen, regen, strike, and uh, attack and defense. No, just one buff. Okay. This guy is... Like hyper offensive, <laughs> like he's not gonna take a hit at all, which I think is fine. There has to be units like this in the game, right? Uh, but this guy's gonna be doing a ton of damage. I don't know. I like both these EXs, honestly. Um, so I mean, this guy's a lot of strike attack, right? Um, but that is gonna do it for the new units. I think I like them all. I there, there, are, there isn't a new unit that I'm like, eh. I don't know. I think Tapion looks really strong. Um, Bardock also is good. Uh, he's more defensive than Tapion, which is, you know, can be helpful, especially for the Saiyan team. But that looks pretty good. Uh, the banner itself, we go down here. Yeah, it has this 30 thing, so again, 909 thing is not around anymore. Here is the actual banner. I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. Uh, this looks not great. Uh, they have these four, so GT Goku, Vegeta, then the old Bardock, and then this Trunks, who's been on, like, 
17 million banners, uh, and then obviously the new ones, and then here are the new EXs down here. I don't know why the images aren't loading, but that's whatever. They got all these old guys on here, you know, the usual stuff. So we got that, and then we have something really interesting. <sighs> Legends Update Celebration Summon Incoming. <laughs> As thanks for all your support, players get one ticket for this summon for every 1,000 Chrono Crystals they've used on summons from the game's release until November 1st, 2019. So if you guys ever played Dokkan Battle, this is exactly what Dokkan does for its download celebrations. So basically, from the game's release until November 1st, 2019, for every 1,000 Chrono Crystals you've spent doing anything, that could be, you know, doing summons, it could be upgrading equipment, it could be refreshing your energy, to literally anything. You will get one ticket that you can use to summon on this banner. So let's go take a look at what the banner actually looks like, because I haven't looked at this either. It looks decent from just the, the face of it. Uh, this is the the uh, crystal version. We'll take a look at the ticket version later. This guy's really good. This guy's really good. This guy's really pretty good. This guy's really good. This guy's really good. Really good, really good, really good. Like, this banner's really, like, I don't know. They got uh, a bunch of good stuff on here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have any le uh, Legends Limited units, but, I mean, it's a free banner, so you can't really ask for too much. But these units look pretty good. I mean, they have basically everything except for... Is this all uh, UST? No, they have some Legends Rising stuff on here. So they have... Oh, they have Whis on here! Whis, Zangya, and Beerus, I guess, are the three big EXs they have on here. Uh, let's scroll down. They have the Gindy 4. Oh, they have EX Chilled. And Janemba. And Boo. I don't know. They have, like, all these guys on here. Hold on, let's scroll up for a second. Yeah. They have, like, a lot of good EXs on here. I mean, this guy's good. This guy's getting buffed. We'll talk about that later. But this banner looks pretty good. Let's take a look at... Uh, as we scroll down here, we can actually see that there's multiple types. So I think this is the normal one. I don't know. Let's click on it and see. Oh, no. This is the Sparking Guaranteed Ticket. I don't know. There's a bunch of tickets for this. Let's just... This looks like it's going to be only Sparkings. Yes. Same pool of characters, right? Yeah. So we have the, uh, you know, the gold ticket, the silver ticket. I believe this is the normal one. Yes, this is the normal one. Okay. So I, I assume this is the ticket that people are going to be receiving, you know, from spending a thousand crystals on the banner. So we'll get we'll be getting those. I, I assume we're just going to get those immediately upon logging in. I don't know if there's going to be like a distribution period or if they're going to, you know, give them out sequentially like Dokkan does, but we'll see. Uh, and then we have the 30% one. So I don't know. There must be some other way to get these tickets, right? Um, I guess this is like sort of the celebration banner here. And you got, of course, the take advantage for the UST, but that's, you know, we all know how that works by this point. Um, then we have this, Hyperdimensional Co-op versus Broly. This is one of the things that was shown off uh, in that, like, Legends video that they posted on their official uh, YouTube channel. And it looks like it's running from now until the 25th. So I'm wondering, is this going to be like uh, Ultra Space Time Rush, where there's like a season once or twice a month where you do it, and then, you know, you wait for it to refresh, and then you get more rewards every time you do it, or whatever. Uh, we actually have a little paste bin here. Uh, the actual event, like, text is not visible on here, so I, I think uh, someone was able, or Renzi was able to data mine this, and I think he uploaded this to a paste bin, so we'll, we'll take a look at this for a second. Hyperdimensional Co-op is a battle mode where you work together with another player to defeat the boss, okay. The other player who fights with you against the boss is called a buddy. Unlike in other battles, you and your buddy will just use one character, each to challenge the boss in a 2v1 fight. This is pretty much exactly what I already talked about in my other video, but just going over it again. Support members strengthen the battle members with their Z abilities and power level bonuses. So like I said, you have your Z... Your, basically your entire bench is just going to be there to support your one character that you're going to be bringing. Because you're only going to be able to bring one character. Uh, the power level bonus will increase the set interval as your support members' total power level increases. You will win the battle when the health of the boss reaches zero. You will lose if both players are defeated or time runs out. You can continue the battle even if one player is defeated. Uh, Hyperdimensional co-op bosses have a special shield. Their shield will have the following effects. The reduced damage received. Nullify knockback. Can be defeated. Deal damage to the boss to destroy their shields. 
Since the shield will slowly repair itself, cooperate with your buddy to quickly take it down. You will achieve a link if you deal consecutive damage to the boss. Achieve more links by performing alternate, alternate attack with your buddy. If you have a lot of links, the shield gauge of the boss will decrease more quickly. Link Links will vanish after a set amount of time has passed with no attacks. So when the shield is destroyed, a strike chance will occur. Um, so, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here, like strike chance, like what is that? Like key recovery, you get like all this stuff, like when you attack, when to do like coordinated attacks, like how Rising Rush works, like all this stuff. Um, I'm not going to read all this, but like if you guys are interested, you can like pause it at any point. I'm going to just scroll through it here. Uh, battles are fought in real time with real players. Please make sure your connection is stable before returning to play. So it's, I think it's going to be like a you know thing where you you, know, you you basically basically like how PvP works. You queue up with uh, you queue up and then you find somebody to play with or whatever. Um, so I mean this looks pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm just kind of worried about the connection thing because that's what's always been bad about PvP. So we'll see. But that looks pretty promising. I'm excited for this. It's one of the big features of this uh, of this update, right? Next, we got a uh, new training item. We got pizza. <laughs> um, that's, I think that's the only new training item, yeah. So we got pizza there. That's interesting. Actually, let's just go take a look at this while we're here. So we have two new training grounds. I believe this is new, the Kami's Lookout. Uh, you can only use... Actually, no, that was, already, that was already there, right? Yeah, that was already there. The new one is the Beerus one, and the Beerus one uses the pizza item, which makes sense. Um, not really sure how you get this yet. It's probably through like missions or like maybe a new stage that drops it or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm, it looks like we're getting a level increase, and we'll get into this later. But as you can see, you need to be level three thousand to five thousand. So it looks like they're increasing the levels by two thousand all the way up to five thousand. That's a big jump. <laughs> so we'll see if that holds true because that is going to take a long time to level up. Okay, next we got a bunch of like items and stuff. We got a new equipment. He's mumbling to himself in fear. So this is when Cell's like, you know, shooting the comment how might go on or whatever. Um, this is for a future, so that's good because future needs more help. Uh, base strike defense up to 12.5, blast attack or base strike attack. That's good, you get an option there, but I mean, if you want one or the other, it's going to be tough. And then blast defense for each type feature. This is pretty good. It's, it's just solid. Um, and this is getting added to the uh, perfect cell, the super life form, and I think that's I think that's getting a hard stage. I don't think this hard uh, mode existed uh, prior to this update, so that's that's interesting. More crystals there. Souls. This is pretty much what tells us that we are getting the uh, the Zenkai Awakening thing. We can take a look at this, and this uh, if you, it's not going to show up in the actual video, but this says uh, Zenkai Soul. This is Zenkai Soul one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was another feature that was teased sort of in the video, and they released like a, a like a like a teaser image in the game. I think either yesterday or the, or the day before. Talking about how um, they were impl implementing this new awakening feature, and I'm not really sure how it's going to work yet. We'll take a look at some images later about like stuff that was data mined, uh, just you know, theorize about how it's going to work. But we got missions, a bunch of missions here uh, linked to the Zenkai Awakening. Um, you know, it looks like these are the units that are they're going to be quote unquote buffing through the Zenkai Awakening. I don't know if they're going to be getting separate buffs as well, but it looks like they're going to be buffing the red Super Saiyan Goku, like the first unit in the game. He's getting a buff. The blue Broly is getting a buff, which is cool because I wanted him too. Uh, and then Beerus. Beerus is getting a buff, which uh, we, we sort of could figure that out uh, as soon as he uh, his new legendary finish was showing off on Twitter, right? So, yeah, good luck with this one. Let me break uh, Beerus to seven stars. Yeah, great. Thanks. Um, and then we got new Shallot upgrade missions. Uh, I believe some of these are new. I didn't even look through these. Yeah, Limit Break Shout's a little 5,000. So yeah, they're going to raise the level cap to 5,000. That's going to be good. I guess it's called Godly Class. I hope this is the last... Uh, <laughs> I hope this is the last level increase. There actually is a uh, some evidence to support that this is, might be the last level cap increase, which we'll, we'll look at later. Um, and we have one a new one of these, like, win like, these seasonal sort of things. Legends Winter Adventure. Uh, I think... I don't even know where I would find this in here, but it's... Oh, actually, no, I know where I could find this. Items, and then I think it's under, like, metals. Let's scroll down here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, Snowman. Okay, I think this is what we're going to be farming now. So we were just doing the Fallen Leaves thing, right? Now we're going to be doing Snowman. Um, so it's just the same thing we've been doing, pretty much. It's just, like, you know... 
getting snowman stuff. I don't know. I, you can't really see the rewards here, unfortunately, but uh, they're going to want us to get a bunch of snowmen. 700,000 snowmen. <laughs> uh, that's going to be fun, right? Um, so we got that. Uh, we got hybrid dimensional co-op missions. Not that many here. Just got to win a bunch of times. Win 100 times. It's going to be interesting. Uh, huge update missions. Uh, so this is just like general missions, like you skip tickets, these movies, characters, strike scale 500 times. Yeah, okay. Um, so that pretty much concludes sort of the stuff that we are able to see via DBZ space. But since there's so much stuff that was data mined, a lot of this stuff doesn't have a category here to fall under. So we're going to take a look at uh, this Twitter account, uh, DB Legends ENG English Dragon Ball Legends account. Um, I think this Twitter was once associated with the Reddit, but I don't think they're no longer associated with the Reddit. But they post a lot of like updates and uh, leaks, data mines as soon as they're as soon as Renzi uploads them to his Discord server, then we get it on uh, through this account on Twitter. So give the give this account a follow if you ever want to, you know, immediately see all of the updates and uh, data mines and stuff. So. We got this. I assume this is something to do with guilds. Most of the stuff, I don't know what it is. It's just going to be speculation. Uh, a lot of the stuff's probably going to be guild stuff because, again, we don't know. Like, we don't have anywhere on here for the guilds. So, a lot of the stuff's just going to be sort of like floating away in space or whatever. So, this is like the levels that we have. I believe right now we have up to this, up to six, I think. Now we have a seven. And then we have this red star. So. If you actually take a look at the game, like in the panel screen, the soul boosting screen, uh, there's only like spot for one more of these, so up to seven. So once we get this, what I think is going to happen is when you fully soul boost a unit, they'll get this red star. So what that's telling me is that this is going to be potentially the final soul boost panel that we're going to get, which is fine because I don't personally like the uh, level cap get increasing. I get that it's good for crystals because it gives you that mission where you like do more soul boost, whatever. But it's just a, it's just a pain. Like <laughs> I'd rather, rather them just not do that and give us those crystals through some other some, through some other means. So I don't know. Hopefully this is the last one, but it looks like this. You know, you do this and you get this red star or whatever. That's cool. No idea what this is. I this might be like a guild banner thing where like you have your guild name on here or whatever. Uh, new units are here. This Broly is here for the. Um, the co-op mode, because he's the boss that you fight in the co-op mode. Uh, I believe these are for the Zenkai Awakenings. You got the Broly, you got the Beerus, and you have the Goku here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Probably a background for guilds or something. Uh, most of the stuff's going to... If, if I don't know what some of the stuff is, I'm just going to assume it's going to be for guilds. This looks like guild, like... I don't know, border. Depending maybe like how well you did in the PvP season, you get a different border. That would be cool. Like a gold border, you got like, you know, top 10 or something. Uh, okay, we got this new pizza item, we saw, we saw that already. We got these new Zenkai souls. No idea how you get these yet. Um, this is the snowman I was talking about earlier, and I think these are new currency items maybe for guilds? Like this looks like some kind of like friendship thing. I don't know, maybe you get this when you have like 30 members and you like fight a certain amount of times in co-op or something, I have no idea. Uh, so this is basically what tells us we're getting a new Yet, an, yet more evidence supporting the fact that we're getting a level cap increase here, right? Uh, we got this. This is the, um, like we were talking about earlier, this is the like snowman adventures thing. So you'll, you'll be getting the snowman through these new adventures. This looks like it's going to be, I mean, ever since the Wishing Star event, this is, you've pretty much had one of these every update. So I think this is probably, it's probably safe to assume that they're going to just keep releasing these forever. <laughs> Um, new souls here. We got the uh, UST 18 ticket, sparking guaranteed, which you can get in the shop with purchasing that bag. Uh, this is a guild ticket. I have no idea what this does. Uh, I was trying to look through. Let me just actually take a look here real fast. See if I could find this. It should be under metals, right? I don't. I have no idea. Guild ticket. Let me actually do a search. Ticket. Maybe we can just scroll down and see if we could find one. No. Maybe it's on one of these. Uh, whoops, gotta go to tickets. I don't think I saw one. That's not this, right? It's just like a yeah. It's not on here. Okay, out of yeah. Again, I don't I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later. Maybe you exchange it for something. It's not active yet. I don't know. This is just a bunch of effects. I don't know. This is also an effect. I think I don't know what this is. Just a guy fighting. 
Uh, this is, I guess, a new effect that this Goku will get maybe when he Zenkai awakens or something. That's pretty cool, I guess. And then this, I heard that this is that these are just like, you know, I guess sleeves in a way. Uh, once you Zenkai awaken a unit, they'll be getting like different looking arts cards. So once you Zenkai awaken the Broly, like, instead of like the normal strike arts card, he'll be getting the same strike arts card, but this is the new art for it or something along those lines. So, uh, like. I initially was like really confused because I saw this and I was like, is he going to be getting like a purple card? But no, I think this is just like, it's just in the files, right? It's just there. So that's what we got for, it's all the same stuff, by the way. Uh, I think Shallot gets one. So I guess Shallot may be Zenkai Awakening at some point. Uh, Beerus has one too. I don't think they posted that. So we have this banner, huge celebration, this. So this is how Rising Rushes apparently work in the co-op mode. Uh, you get a perfect if you both choose the same one and it's different from the enemy I guess uh, maybe it maybe it, maybe it just works if you both choose a different one from the enemy I don't, I don't know if it necessarily has to be the same we'll find out um, as long as one person chooses a different card than the enemy you succeed I guess so I guess the way I'd want to do this is coordinate to always pick a different card in the enemy and then you could never get guessed because you don't want this happening interesting this has to do with the Zenkai awakening and the reason I know this is because this and this mean Kakse which is awakening I don't know what any of this stuff means, like Z, E, N, K, like what, what does K mean? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's like different rankings for Awakenings, if you get more souls, if you get more uh, Z power for a unit, you can upgrade them. I have no idea. Uh, this is probably the loading screen or something for when you queue up in uh, the co-op mode. And then this is just like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we saw this, this is the new training stage. Uh, yep, Senkai Soul, we saw that also. And here's all the new characters. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that looks like it's it. Actually finished this faster than I thought. Um, but that's pretty much everything. Let me know down below what you guys think of the new characters. Like I said, I think Tapion's probably the best, just what I'm seeing off the paper right now. But Bardock also looks very solid. It's just the teams, man. I mean, movies is still so insane. They're still like a top three, top two team in the game. Uh, Bardock fits on movies too, but you're going to be hard-pressed to replace Gohan with this guy, I feel like. I mean, this guy will work well with a Saiyan team, but I don't know. This Trunks is very, very good. Super Boo is offensive. He's a, he's a glass cannon, but I mean, he does his job, I guess. If you switch him in mid-combo, he could just do like a bajillion damage in like two seconds. But that's pretty much what I got here. Um, again, we're going to have to see how the guild feature works uh, because I there wasn't really much info about that in the data we got. But you guys should be excited because this is crazy. This means that they're going to most likely continue doing this. So just know that from now on, uh, every crystal you spend is going to be going into the pool of tickets that you're going to eventually receive whenever they decide to release the next banner of this. And it's kind of weird that they decided to only calculate up until uh, November 1st, when it is over a month past that point. Um, but that just means that the next time they do this banner, it'll start calculating from like November 2nd up until you know whenever they decide to stop it again. So that is what I had. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the new units down below. Every uh, let me know what you guys think of everything down below. It's uh, it's crazy. This is the biggest update ever. This is looking really really nice. So we'll see. Uh, I will see you all at some point. <laughs> Gotta go get some sleep, but hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Just as they ended this video, they... Well, I didn't realize this, but they actually updated the units that are getting buffed in real time on here. So we actually have their updated kits here. <laughs> and this guy has 153,000 blasts. Uh, again, I don't... This might be like a case of like the boost panel kicking in like the last boost panel or something because this is this can't be right. I mean like it's just too much. Hold on. Let's refresh this. No, I mean it looked... Fi five star max boost panels unlocked. Let me go over here. Five star max boost panels unlocked. Like... Uh, this guy has 153,000 blast attack at level 3,000. His other stats are ridiculous. Like, what? Look, what? Okay, I don't know how hard it's going to be to um, to Zenkai awaken someone. 
but this <laughs> this is like crazy okay uh main ability is draw the ultimate arts card super dragon fist so this is the same thing uh unique ability avenge krillin yeah when krillin's dead he gets 35 percent blast damage are you talking about Krillin? 35% to blast damage inflicted when allied uh, character Krillin is defeated. Applies the following effects to self per defeated battle member. Okay. 20% to blast inflicted, which was enough by 15%. That's good. Legendary Warrior. Applies the following effects to self once five timer counts have elapsed after entering the battlefield. Minus 10 to strike and blast arts cost for 15 timer counts. Reduces damage received by 30% for 15 timer counts. Plus 80% to damage inflicted against Tag Lineage of Evil when two allies are defeated. I hate this card. <laughs> I mean, it didn't change this, right? Yeah, okay. That is absurdly good. Like, his stats? Look at his stats. Moving on. Uh, Broly. 159,000 strike attack. <laughs> they do to this guy oh my god i feel like this is the new unique that they got with like the zenkai thing i have no idea so this is the same uh when it's feature percent keyword i think this is the same too i think this is also the same mm -mm -mm. this is also the same yeah i think this is the only thing that's new really Plus 35% to damage uh, to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts when faced with enemy character Goku. While this character is on the battlefield, the following effects occur when enemy switches characters and inflicts enemies with no switching for five timer counts. And then 20 of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Uh, yeah. This this still costs a ton. This guy's gonna do so much damage. Like what? What what is his stats? <laughs> Alright, and now we get to the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> you got Beerus here. What, what are these stats? These can't be real stats. I refuse to believe these are real stats. Uh, I'm kinda like not gonna believe this right now. Um, so take this with a grain of salt. But this is what this is showing. <sighs> okay, uh, so this is the new one. Uh, the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, plus four. 40% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Inflicts enemy that would downgrade plus 5 to strike and blast arts cost. And then seals. Oh, he already has that, right? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> We're going to have to see in the actual game, right? I mean, this is the same... Last second defense at five stars. If these are actually their stats, like if these are actually like what the actual stats are going to be in the game, then Beers is actually going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Especially with his equip and the fact that Whis is going to buff the hell out of him. Like, I mean, this might be a top three unit in the game on God Key. It's hard to say without playing with them. We're going to have to test these guys out, but I mean, these, these are ridiculous. Again, again, I don't know what the requirements are going to be for Zenkai Awakening, so we'll see. But I, I am mind-blown to these stats. That these are actually true. But yeah, I just wanted to throw this in at the end because uh, I didn't want to miss this. So, Oh yeah, also one more thing I made a mistake on in the video was that the, the crystals that you spent were only for summons. I missed that. Um... So if you use if you use crystals on like equip awakenings, equipment awakenings, and refreshing your energy or whatever, that would not count toward the amount of tickets you're getting. So keep that in mind. Uh, that was a mistake that I made earlier because I didn't read that part. So just 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 apologize for that. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, this video went on for way too long. So I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>